So during this past week, the uh, Alter Rebbe, who started the Chabad, which is Wisdom, Knowledge, Understanding Movement in the Hasidic lineage, had um, been in charge uh, to support the enemy high treason when Russia and Turkey were at war. This is in history. 1798, he was freed from jail after 53 days. He actually didn't want to go. He was afraid he was going to get arrested again and they were going to continue to oppose him for spreading the truth. He was a radical and he was not afraid because he trusted God. And so he was freed and he was actually sending money to Israel, which was under Turkey, for people to study the truth. And uh, Russia was... Uh, Saying, uh, the other Jews who were against him said that he's sending mo money, and others also said that he's sending money to the enemy, which is Turkey, but really it was Israel. So anyway, um, I want to share some of his teachings as an honor to him. It was on this past Tuesday, um, today's Sunday, and uh, so I'll be sharing. So he says how intellectual love is how we express truth through speech. It fulfills the heart in the still understanding phase versus active love, which is manifested as an emotionally charged intensity and force of expression it is an active love, it's physical. So we have action, we have speech, and then it comes from thought because there's two stages, two, two states of emotions that are born from intellect. So we have one is emotion that's already born and revealed, and two is emotion that's still part of the intellect, it's merely an intellectual inclination toward the object of one's understanding where the person's intellect and their spirit, their soul, their, their flesh, um, fleshy uh, being is derived from conception, concealment within the supernal understanding and not from the birth stage or the revelation. So the soul is dwelling in the body like a deserted wife, a living widow, and there's this intellectual emotion which we call tabuna, which is understanding, which is clothed in thought, speech, and action of the Torah, the truth, and its commandments, and provides uh, these thought, speech, action, clothing. I spoke here about love and thought, love and action, and then um, how, sorry, love and speech, love and action, but we know that it's based on the thoughts. So we're saying here that action doesn't necessarily come from a thought. It's a charged intensity where like, you touch something, it gets hurt, you don't even think, you just take your hand off, right? So the person's Intellect is like the, co the concealed um, aspect. So the intellectual emotion is um, clothed inside of these garments and in our thoughts, our speech, and our action. We learned already that thought can come in through speech. We can express our thought of love in our speech. We can express our action of love in our behavior. And we can um, follow the truth and the Thing and do things that reflect the truth, obviously, when we're coming from that place. We'll speak from a place of truth and we'll act from a place of truth. And this provides intellectual power and vitality. And it gives us like wings. It's um, These are wings to soar high. The Torah and so the truth, knowing the truth and acting from the truth. It gives us wings like I am good and I do good. You know, like we are the truth and, and I am true and I act true. So God joins thought and deed together. So, like I said, thought can come out through speech, and then thought and deed join together through God. The light with the vessel is the intellect with the action. How do we act from a place of understanding? How do we act from a place of knowing truth and love? So the wings elevate them because the heart is the source of the organ's vitality, the, inter the internal vitality, and the wings to elevate them and materializes as actions that reflect the desire of the heart. Instead of thinking, it should be a particular way, which lacks vitality. Um, that's the masculine, which is like um, directly influencing. Anyway, the feminine of the Tavuna is the recipient of the divine traits. And we refer to this as the small image, which is also known as the letters. So the letters of thought, letters of understanding, and letters of action. Now I want to share, how do we, so, we, so we're using these letters, we're reorganizing it, right? So I want to share a personal practice that I looked at. What is the intergenerational trauma that I am releasing? Because these are the letters of, of my thoughts and speech and action, right? I'm the desire of a heart that existed before me. There was a heart toward what I am. They encouraged me, the role models and the shapers and the influencers to be the desire of their heart, right? So I am that in action and in thought. So let's, so yeah. So releasing the intergenerational trauma means the letters get stuck 
we can't unite the thought and the action, right? So here I am uniting the thought with the action so that I could be um, in the God space between, right? So we're not being afraid of my thoughts, not being ashamed of wanting to be alone, having a clean, honest relationship ability, which is relating, which is for everything, community, friends, men, food even, right? I'm also not just here to teach, but to learn. I can always remember I'm able to handle this moment, just this one moment, just for today. And I can forgive because I can speak directly and process my grief with belief in my strength to do so, that it is provided to me by the true power, source, um, creator, sustainer. And obviously this all comes to that I can trust myself to play it by ear because once we're coming from a place of truth, we don't have to constantly keep remembering the truth in order to focus on it. We are the truth. Now, what can mix up the truth? The Vilna Goen, who actually was opposed to some of the Alta Rebbe uh, circle, um, and Evan Shlema, he says, quarrel, these, it's called Erev Rav, the ones that make the mixture not so great, that bring in letters that combine in the wrong way maybe and get stuck. It's people who quarrel, and we, we can't be around this, right? So quarreling, quarrelsome mongers and gossips, people who make problems, people who are full of lust or hypocritical people who are not what they pretend to be when their thought and their action don't meet because they're not coming from the same place, because they're not coming from the truth. Uh, those who seek honor for their own glory, those who chase after money. Okay, learning. Um, so then the next practice I did was I was learning from that. Okay, how can I take that stuff out of me? First of all, I could give respect to what seems pitiful in the past because something, um, we have to switch from this internal validation. We have to switch from internal validation to a positive perspective when it's negative because something comes in to steal the validation. And then we have to remember we're here to enjoy life. We don't have to eat or read because it was we were told that it's good, but we should eat because it's good and we should read because it's good because we enjoy it. Not We don't have to be ashamed for what we enjoy and all the images and lineages are about finding oneness and connecting to consciousness itself. And finally here, I'm going to talk a little bit um, from Mayor Michael Abacera. Actually, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, God willing, on the next video. Thank you for spending that. It's and it's going to be um, some great stuff that he wrote, which is about um, from his book, and I, I'm I, and it's about smuggling the truth. Sometimes we have to hide the truth in layers, and I'll talk about that tomorrow. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Tonight is Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah to those who celebrate it. I hope you're enjoying your weekend.